Ready to incorporate an LLC in Kansas but unsure where to begin? Today, you will learn about the most common ways to start your business, including the correct forms you'll need, how to register your LLC, critical naming requirements, and all other important tips and tricks. Then, as a bonus later on in the video, I will reveal to you a trustworthy registered agent who will help set up your LLC for free, and also how to get a free 30-minute consultation with a real lawyer about setting up your business, so make sure to stick with me until the end. Kansas LLCs are cost-effective and easy to set up. The state of Kansas, like other states, has several specific LLC requirements. There are three main ways you can start an LLC in Kansas. First is a DIY or do-it-yourself process where you mostly depend on Kansas State's website. The second way is hiring a professional service which practically offers more efficiency and security in the process of creating your LLC, while the third one is hiring an attorney. Let's first take a look at the steps required for starting an LLC on your own. Step 1. Name your business. Before anything else, you will have to think of the LLC's legal business name. Each LLC in Kansas must have a distinct LLC name that is not currently in use. You must include the terms limited liability company or an abbreviation such as LLC. You cannot include phrases such as corporation, which would lead people to believe you are a different business organization. Knowing if your business name is taken or not is very easy. Just go to Google and type in the words Kansas Business Entity Search and click the first search result. I also have the link in the description below for your convenience. It will lead you to a landing page of business entity records in Kansas, where you can then type in the name of your business and check its availability. The Secretary of State can also reserve the LLC's trade name before filing for a period of 120 days. You can make a name reservation for only $30, which is non-refundable, and once your business name is reserved, no other entity can use it during the 120-day period. Step 2. Get a registered agent. Kansas requires LLCs to have a registered agent. An agent has a physical address as P.O. Box is not allowed and is available during business hours. This agent will serve as the LLC's primary point of contact for receiving key legal papers, tax warnings, summons, subpoenas, and so on. You can register yourself or someone in your company, but I highly recommend getting a professional registered agent as they have more knowledge of protecting your company in cases of possible cracks. Besides, hiring a professional registered agent is not expensive. In fact, there are companies who offer a free registered agent as part of their package when you form your LLC through them. Inkfile is a company I recommend which has this free service. Inkfile offers a free registered agent on your first year of signing up to the service. During that free year, you can already take advantage of a professional and trained agent to receive legal documents on your behalf, a dashboard where you can always access these correspondences that your agent has received, as well as email notifications and automatic forwarding whenever your registered agent receives documents. Again, I would like to touch base on the fact that your registered agent can be anyone, but that is not the smartest move. You have to keep in mind that their registered agent embodies your LLC in managing legal documents to avoid problems concerning court schedules, filing reports with the Secretary of State, and your business credibility as a professional registered agent alone serves as an evidence of the legal entity of your LLC. While I agree that family members or friends are reliable enough to be trusted as your LLC's agent, you are more comfortable sleeping at night knowing that your agent is professional and trained to do the tasks I just mentioned. Step 3. Filing the Kansas LLC Certificate of Formation After that, you must file the Certificate of Formation with the Kansas Secretary of State online through mail to officially incorporate a domestic Kansas limited liability company. The Kansas State filing cost for LLC online is $160 and $165 by mail. Typically, your Certificate of Formation includes cover with name, address, and telephone number for the day, your company name and address, your registered agent's details, names at the time of registration of LLC management or members, and managers or members of the LLC addresses when they are submitted. Step 4. Prepare an operating agreement. Now, an operating agreement is a good idea to have in place with the other members if your LLC has more than one member. Although a limited liability company operating agreement is not necessary for Kansas, the state of Kansas accepts operating agreements for limited liability companies as governing documents. If your LLC has one, you may include it while submitting your LLC certificate of formation to the probate judge. Your operating agreement should clarify how your company or business will handle big picture issues, such as allocating earnings and losses and dissolving the company. Your operating agreement should cover the transfer of membership interests, profits, losses, and distributions, initial investments, decision-making powers, voting rights, and management, and lastly, dissolving the business. This document has sections for every detail that should be written correctly and with clarity. You have to keep in mind that your operating agreement can cover almost anything as long as it does not violate late Kansas law. These rules may appear simple, but the intricacy of the statute demonstrates how critical it is to get things in writing. 
If you need to create an operating agreement and want to get your free sample copy to make life easy when filling out, then feel free to check out this link in the description to get your free downloaded copy. Step 5. Obtain an EIN Finally, get an EIN for your LLC. An EIN or Employer Identification Number is a federal tax ID issued by the IRS to your company. Your EIN is used by the IRS to readily identify your firm on tax filings. All Kansas firms pay a business privilege tax, and the state requires you to have an EIN to file. You may also be required to provide your EIN when opening a bank account or applying for municipal permits or licenses. Obtaining an EIN is a slightly longer process compared to the previous steps. I'm sure you know, anything to do with the IRS is confusing. First, you have to have complete knowledge of your LLC, such as your company information, managing member information, business address, business information, company details, and even the critical information regarding vehicular assets and federal excise taxes. This is another reason why getting a professional registered agent is way more convenient, as they can do this for you as part of their service. Now let's talk about the second option to form an LLC, and that is hiring a professional formation service. Professional formation services do all the steps you should be doing on your own. From filing necessary forms to acting as your registered agent, you usually have to allocate a specific budget for this option. A formation service guides you through the steps of forming an LLC and streamlines the process. These professional services do this daily, so they are familiar with the procedure and are accessible and responsive to questions you may have along the route. As I promised earlier, I will name one of the best companies out there to help you form your Kansas LLC, and that is Inkfile. You can click on the link in the description or type this into your search box to get access to this deal. Inkfile is one of a kind as it offers a free package with services such as preparing and filing your articles of organization. Well, it's not really a free package as you still have to pay $237 for the state fees which you would have to do anyway if you chose the DIY option. But looking at the bigger picture, all other companies will still charge for their service fee on top of state filing fees, but Inkfile does not collect this fee. This plan already includes a free registered agent for your first year of subscription and $119 annually moving forward if you decide to continue the service after the first year. Inkfile's next packages are the Gold and Platinum packages, which both have package fees already on top of the $237 state fee. Each package has its own set of services, which are all worthy of the subscription you are paying for. The Gold package offers you the benefits of filing reports and taxes for your LLC. Every year, Kansas LLCs are required to file a state annual report. This report is essentially an information update of your file so that the state knows who is now in charge and how to contact your company. Kansas LLCs are also required to file state tax returns. To make matters even more complicated, your annual report and business privilege tax share a document and are due at the same time each year. With Inkfile's gold package, you won't have to scribble notes of these reports because Inkfile will handle the whole process for you. Their platinum package also has these services in the bag, with a unique addition of expedited filing, getting a domain name, and a business email which essentially increases your LLC's credibility. Inkfile's set of awesome features does not end here. They are also exceptional for having an inclusive partnership with Bank of America so you can easily open an eligible checking account for your business. Yes, it is a must for your LLC to have a business account. Remember, an LLC has limited liability for it is a separate entity from its members. You may forfeit your liability protections if you combine your personal and business money, and this is where the term piercing the corporate veil comes into play. Piercing the corporate veil is an LLC jargon that refers to the court's action to hold you, as the owner or member of an LLC, personally liable of the LLC's debts or actions. Basically, an LLC's purpose is to separate your personal assets such as your property or your car from your business assets. Now, if you've already been sued by some lawyer who sees a crack in your LLC, they might resort to piercing the corporate veil in which you are, in any position, defeated. This is why opening a separate bank account for your LLC is so important. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my review so far? If yes, then make sure to let me know by liking my video and hit that subscribe button for more high quality business content that I will be releasing every week. Hiring an attorney. The last option for forming an LLC is to hire an attorney to assist you with the process. An attorney will normally provide the most individualized service, yet the most expensive. To incorporate a corporation or LLC, attorneys typically charge between $1,000 and $1,500. One way to get an attorney for free is by signing up to the 7-day free trial of Rocket Lawyer through my link in the description below. You can create your free account and immediately get great access to real lawyers to help you with your business formation. These include a free 30-minute consultation with a lawyer and even asking your lawyer to review your documents for free. If you want to be fully hands-off in the process, designing a new product, or working in a potentially risky field, hiring an attorney is your best bet. The attorney will advise you depending on the industry and your circumstance to assist you to discover all potential concerns. 
However, if you are opening just a normal LLC with low risk, I recommend just going to Inc. File for the most cost-effective LLC formation. Now I want to guide you on the next step to take when starting your LLC. So if you've chosen the DIY option, then I recommend you check out this video which will help you pick the best bank accounts for your business to avoid commingling funds. But if you have chosen option 2 of using a professional formation service but want more information on Inkfile, then check out this video where I have done an in-depth tutorial and review on them. So check it out and I'll see you over in that next video.